Welcome to our lecture online. The success of any statistical exercise, well, depends on the data that it's collected and how that data is collected. And before you set out trying to collect all kinds of data, you should go through a process to determine how that data should be collected based upon what you're trying to accomplish. And so let's take a look at some of these points. We have five points put on the board. The first one is understand the objective. What is it that you're trying to accomplish with this exercise? And that is very important because the type of data that you're going to collect, well, that completely depends upon what your objective is, what you're trying to show, what you're trying to prove. And so make sure that the collected data does indeed match your objective in the exercise. Secondly, define the variables to be collected. Have a complete list of everything that you think you need to collect and then identify and evaluate if that is a good data point in order to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. So set up a set of data you want to collect and then break it down and evaluate each of the data points to make sure that it's valuable and contributes to your knowledge on your particular topic you're trying to investigate or if it's superfluous information that you don't need to spend time working on. And perhaps you might even find some data that you weren't going to collect, but now that you realize what your objective is, you may want to add some additional data points. Third, define the method by which the data is to be collected. Set up the experiment. How are you going to collect the data? How long is it going to take? Do you have enough people on your team in order to get that done? Can you do it by yourself? And can it all be done within a reasonable amount of time? Or do you need to change your experiment so that you can collect more data in a shorter period of time? Or maybe change your experiment so that you can find ways to make the data collection more accurate. So those are the things you should consider to experiment how you're going to collect that data. Next, you need to define how you're going to represent that data. You may have a really good data set, but if you don't find a good way to represent the data, you might not be able to infer the information you're trying to infer from. So being able to come up with a good solid method to represent your data is really important. It's important before you even start because it could affect the type of data you're going to collect when you think about how you're going to represent it. Do you have, do you have all the informa information you need to do the proper inference and representation? And finally, define how the data is to be interpreted. So if you're going to try to prove a certain point, you need to be able to interpret the data correctly and has that been predetermined before you even start collecting it. Again, that is really important that you understand how it's going to be interpreted so that you can collect it in the proper form. And those are very important aspects when it comes to data collection for a statistical experiment. That is how it's done.